Almighty God, you make dawn and dusk dance for joy. Holy indeed on this beautiful morning. Thank you for joining us here at the God Minute. My name is Umberto, and I'll be your prayer leader today. Welcome. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. O Lord, open my lips. And my mouth shall declare your praise. Psalm 27, Fearless Faith The Lord is my revelation, my light, to guide me along the way. He is the source of my salvation to defend me every day. I fear nothing. I'll never turn back and run, for you, Lord, surround and protect me. My heart will not be afraid, even if an army rises against me. I know that you are there for me, so I will not be shaken. Here's the one thing I crave from God, the one thing I seek above all else, of living with Him every moment in His house finding the sweet loveliness of his face, filled with awe, delighting in his presence. I want to live my life so close to him that he takes pleasure in my every prayer. In his shelter, in the day of trouble, that's where you'll find me, for he hides me there in his holiness. He has smuggled me into his secret place where I am kept safe and secure, out of reach from the power of darkness. Triumphant now, I will sing and shout my gratitude to God. Glory be to the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. A reading from 1 Chronicles, chapter 16, verse 11. Seek the Lord and his strength. Seek his presence continually. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. I am often captivated by how the words of sacred scripture resonate with the children of God. For thousands of years. This verse written for the children of God living in the Davidic covenant is one of those verses that holds true to this very day. What a profound and true statement about our faith in God and our connection to the divine. And if you don't continually seek God's presence, 
he usually doesn't seem to interact with our everyday lives. Out of sight, out of mind, I suppose. God is always interacting, but sometimes we fail to notice. For myself and most of us, it is at the pinnacle of our faith when God's presence manifests itself fully during the Mass. There's no greater place to experience God's presence than at the altar when we greet our Lord in the flesh. I have had more profound God moments in that setting than I can count. And for me, receiving our Lord in the Eucharist is where I seek his strength. It is nourishment for my soul that deals with some harsh realities and this nourishment keeps me in courage. I find hope at the altar. And then there are those times away from Mass I don't expect God's presence. My wife and I are blessed to have this beautiful natural setting just off our back porch. It's a steep hillside adorned with majestic hardwoods in the Ozark Mountain foothills. Oftentimes I go there to have my morning coffee and just enjoy the natural beauty. And I'm just sitting there minding my own business. And lo and behold, God will show up in the form of the Holy Spirit just to see how I'm doing. And before I know it, I've been sitting there for 30 minutes praying. And I just relish in his presence in my everyday life. In these moments, it isn't me seeking God. It is God seeking me. He wants my attention. And hope abounds. Some people call this ability of ours to feel God's presence an act of superstition. And some people call it an act of hope. And if you're listening to this right now, you are among the hopefuls. It is my pleasure to be with you and to pray with you and to hope with you in the presence of God. Keep praying, my friends. Seek the Lord and his strength. Seek his presence continually and bring his hope for the world to the rest of humanity. With confidence and trust, we pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty God, we know that without you, we are hopeless and helpless. Let us seek out your presence and your strength every day, Lord, not just in times of hardship, but as a means of daily sustenance to draw closer to you. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Thank you for joining us today at the God Minute. As you go about your day today, remember to be grateful for all that you have been given. And try to do at least one random act of kindness for someone. You'll be surprised how much good it does for your soul. 
May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Brothers and sisters, go forth in love and joy, and we'll see you tomorrow.